in very wet weather across many parts of England and Wales earlier on today. And it's still going to be particularly heavy in Hampshire and the Isle of Wight until the middle part of the afternoon. Some torrential downpours bringing some localised flooding, some spray and some standing water particularly to the faster routes, giving us some quite treacherous travelling conditions. And we can just see the extent of that rain at the moment across southern and central England, seeing well over an inch of rain in Weymouth. And that rain also across the Midlands, much of Wales up into northern England. And even here, that rain is going to be heavy enough, really is going to be to give us some localised flooding and also difficult travelling conditions. Now, that rain is going to make its way further northwards into parts of southern and eastern Scotland through the afternoon, knocking on the door of eastern Northern Ireland too. But out to the west and across much of western northern Scotland, there's a drier and brighter picture here. And also turning a little bit drier too in southeastern parts of England, lifting temperatures up to around 11 degrees here. But elsewhere, we're typically looking at around 6 to 9 degrees. And in all that wet weather and really quite strong winds, particularly around the Irish Sea coast, it's going to feel quite chilly indeed. Now, tonight, many places escaping a frost, and it's not hard to see why. This area of low pressure that we've already seen bringing cloud and rain is going to make its way steadily westwards and northwards, covering much of Northern Ireland and Scotland by the end of the night. In contrast, much of England and Wales will turn a little bit drier, but it will turn misty and murky here, although we'll just see the odd spot of light rain or drizzle around some of the coast. But for Northern Ireland and Scotland, a much cloudier day than today with some rain, but that'll turn lighter and patchier as we go through the afternoon. And by that time, we'll also start to see some more rain feeding up from the continent across parts of eastern England. But elsewhere, it's a dry story for much of England and Wales, perhaps even a little bit brighter too. Temperatures generally tomorrow a bit higher than today, and with lighter winds, it shouldn't feel so cold. So for Wednesday, we've still got some thicker cloud across parts of Scotland and Northern Ireland, the odd spot of rain around. Also some thicker cloud coming into southern England, quite breezy here with the odd spot of rain too. Elsewhere, after some early morning mist and fog, we should see some dry and brighter skies coming through. And then by Thursday, we see that big change coming through. This area of high pressure really settling things down across much of the country. Although for northern Scotland, we'll see some cloudier weather with some rain as well. That's how it's looking at the moment, Anna.